Yeah, we did miss a lot. That's alright, we can always look it up on YouTube what we missed. He has a game machine that doesn't work anymore. You can read the news. I won't be surprised that they made tablets like this years from now. Yeah, Kara can change her her look. Maybe I'll find clues. What kind of bird is that? You know what I'm saying? Ralph will know we stole from him, and then he'll ride us out to Connor and Hank, so. Now let's cut the hair. That card's giving her stuff a haircut. Well, 
What if I did a Kara cosplay? Yes, you can finish the whole game. At least half of it. Like I said, this game can be short depending on your path. I think the cops come after That's all for now. Kara because of what happened with Todd. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line its decision wasn't planned it was driven by fear androids don't feel fear deviants do they get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions all right well that still doesn't tell us where it went it didn't have a plan and it had nowhere to go maybe it didn't go far To make up for past misunderstandings, <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come, come, sit down. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Would it? <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Clara. We don't want any spoilers. What did she say? She can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. Also, Lang for Alice gave me points for with her. <laughs> Considering how she's scared of Ralph. We don't want to do anything. That's why I chose not to take the money, because Hank and Connor are looking for me, and he might rat me out if I steal from him. Because I haven't had time to master the boss controls. I don't want to risk losing Kara and Alice. <laughs> I think the unlocked option would have been if I had taken Todd's gun, I think. Then I could threaten him. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Yeah. 
Yep. That's a control of Connor. Yeah, the game said deviant and self-destruct when that stress levels get high. So I wonder will rough self-destruct or not. I'm looking for an AX four hundred. Have you seen it? Ralph seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids. Not looking at the character when they're not in the cutscene and see them talking. I like that. Wait, there's something I can look at. He's, I remember I'm on that show, I Am Frankie. About a scientist who created an android named Frankie. When I mainly heard this game at first, I thought of Detroit because when I first heard of this game, I remember no. I Am Frankie. Like, she couldn't get wet at all, but the fact that these androids could get wet. It kind of surprised me. So the game said if the deviant stress level gets too high, they will self-destruct. And his... Okay. What's in here? Y'all could have not picked a better hiding spot. Man, I hope I don't freak this up because I didn't have time to master the new controls. I got to... Wait a minute. Like, what do I got around to the androids? Y'all, like, right there. Jeez. They're over there. Hey, you couldn't have chased it after them? Like, why didn't you do anything to chase after them? Gaming gods, please give me agility. How do you do that one? Sorry. Sure. I don't know how to do that one. See? How do you do that one? Or do I hit the arrow keys? I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, the command looked different there. You okay? It's 
It's not a quarter to what happens if you miss the QTEs. You have to trust another playable character. Think next we gotta find Jericho and Marcus's story. Oh, hello, Brooke. <clears throat> Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assist on androids have been tested for federal data cutoff, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play a passive role in criminal. Now, Marcus don't have to wear at the back of the bus anymore because he's he's a deviant. I like Marcus. Okay, I'll find Jericho. That guy said that I have to find Jericho. That's the first symbol I gotta find. I'm gonna suck at this part for a while during my first time. Oh, Kara's in the news. Oh, that's what I have to do. Oh, that's where it is. I haven't played this game in such a long time, so I was tripping for a minute. Now I gotta find another one. Yeah, I wish it would let you run or jog like in Life is Strange. I'll take the escalator. There we go. Do they have android areas and human areas? Okay, so next, let me see what the next graffiti is. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. All right, okay, it's all right, dude. Tell Marcus wanted to square him. I gotta do this to find Jericho. Yeah, um, there's a command you type in, but it wouldn't let me add you because it kept saying invalid username. And I had made sure I typed your name incorrectly. Figure something out. I've been on YouTube for so long. I pretty much look like a, a noob when it comes to Switch. Because YouTube is a section where all you do is just go to your settings and you could type in their username to make them a mod, I think. Now Marcus can jog. I like when they make the characters jog, it's kind of cool. Here's a pink star thingy, my bob. See, jogging. Here we got another one. Where was the other one? Nope. Uh, where the frick is the other one? 
Oh, wait, 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 it's right here. Well, she will let you, me add you in OBS because that's what I use. <laughs> Robots. I'll try it when I get a cutscene. That's the beauty of playing these cutscene games. I got one more to find. Brooke, do you know where the other one is? The pallet thingy? I think there's a shortcut for me to come in here and see it better. Okay, I'll go in here. Now give me a better picture. Oh, we got it. Another reason why I prefer Twitch better than YouTube, because you guys can tell me what, what, where I'm stuck, unlike YouTube, where I have to walk around for an hour before I find it. Because that happens a lot during The Last of Us. Speaking of The Last of Us, we need this dumpster to get up there. Because I know The Last of Us, you use that a lot. I think we found one. When I first played this game, I was stuck at this part for a while because I couldn't see that second one. Yeah, when I had to do this dumpster thingy, I immediately thought about The Last of Us because I know at least in the first Last of Us, I always needed a dumpster to climb stuff. Oh, the advanced controls are more fun. I like that. We're just like, whoosh. There's our clue. We, we're getting somewhere. Now we should have a location for Jericho. So Marcus has to do some parkour here. That's what I like about this game. I like the parkour. So first, firstly, we go here. Up on this thing. Some of the Android gymnastics. That's what for real. No, he should have did the. He should have did the the giant on the pole. That would have been cool. Okay, it's up here. Two. I think when it comes to things, finding stuff is like the least thing I'm gonna. Let me move and see if it's hidden somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I really hate those thingy my bobs that's hidden and it's like you gotta just take a take you out to find it. Time some for more Marcus parkour. I think that setup be too high. Wait a minute, what if I Alright. I know Marcus has a lot of parkour moves here. Yep, we did it. At least that was the last graffiti I had to mark. At least that was the last one I had to do the calculations for. The graffiti. Oh god. Let 
Yeah, it's still time, I guess. Come on, Marcus, you can do this. You got this. You got this, Marcus. I like Marcus. And when True Colors comes out, I'm going to stream that every day until I beat it. Times may vary, though. My folks like to throw a lot of surprises at me, so it's kind of hard to plan. We don't know when somebody's going to throw a curveball at you. But I try my best. We find the Jericho. The only Jericho that I knew about was a small town that I visit infrequently. Oh! Holy oh, shite. They gave me a heart attack when I first played. Like, it figuratively gave me a heart attack. I mean, Marcus has to free fall. To get to the Jericho. Come on, Marcus, you can do this. This game is kind of like these. I mean, these are one of the games where your choices actually matter. Because, like in The Walking Dead Telltale, no matter what you. Like in The Walking Dead Telltale, for example, no matter. Like, if you save someone, it is die later. Like, here, I definitely want to. Like, I do stream two games. Like,. And we're gonna do our free fall. Oh, but I was saying I like to stream two games just because I get through it quicker. Especially because especially because I want to gear towards streaming and then breaking up into clips and posting on YouTube. It's easier this way to make sure I have enough content than to have to spend a whole week recording a whole bunch of videos. I like that. From one stream alone, I can have at least two weeks worth of content. From one video, from like from one stream alone. I like how for this game I can do some of the QTEs like for the Wii. Like when I had played Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, I always used the remote when I had quick time events. I kinda like that. I wish when they remastered Resident Evil 4, they gave you the options to just use your controller for the quick time events. You can just use your controller because it'll save me so much pain with the Indiana Jones part in pro mode because you got to go like twice as fast. Because I, I always die at that part at least a good 20 times before I get it. Okay. Marcus Galera. What are you coming? I mean, it feels like this game is shorter than Life is Strange, too. Like, depending on your choices and what you do. This game can be short. This game could get dark, too. Okay, there we go. Marcus was stuck on, like, an invisible barrier for a minute. Oh! Oh my god. Marcus, run. So we gotta follow that person who was running. Now you left a mess for me, too. Jeez. Okay, I think we need to go this way. I don't know. I was in an Android junkyard and somebody told me about Jericho. After falling Jericho. 
find Jericho. It's a boat. We're on a ship. Come on, Marcus, run. Yo. We have another free foe. Okay, that hurt. That really hurt. Thanks for welcoming me to Jericho. I'm glad to be here. Hey, let's look at the chart. Well, I missed one thing there. Yeah, the other the other outcomes, like you, the other half of the full chart was for my first playthrough on YouTube. Because I have a playthrough of this on YouTube and I want to do an alternate playthrough to explore other possibilities. Because this game really does have different paths depending on the choices you make. Yeah, this game really does have a different path depending on the choices you make. At least the way I think so. So you have to talk to Hank. Last shit hot tip you gave me and sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. You can scam people too. Okay, let's scan this thingy, my Bob here. We get to scan him. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. I like Connor's abilities in this. Hey, you won't regret this. I like Connor's abilities here. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? You don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm not trying to fly around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. As it's cyber life thought everything. That thing here. Oh, not a chance. Mm, China. Everywhere. Yeah, well, let me add you as a mod for some reason. Unless the cult, the um, colon has to be there. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damage to... Okay. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. 
Oh, now I forget out how to mod people. Just click on their username in my stream manager. Which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions. Which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Mm. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they're fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I wish I knew why he hated Android so much. I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Yeah, I did my homework. I know you graduated top of your class. Wow. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. That's impressive, though. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings. Yeah, that explains when the guy said his disciplinary file was a phone book. So what's your conclusion? I like Detroit Become Human, Hank. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I'm getting, I'm getting points with Hank. My relationship with him was horse crap in my mind. Work with. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I thought they ran out of battery in the first place this game. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be Oh Brooke, you should be a mod now. I see the little sword by your username. Time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. <laughs> I love Hank. Investigate time he somebody hears a strange noise. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. I've always lost the android at this part, but I, it took me watching somebody else to figure out where I was supposed to go. All these dang what pigeons. <laughs> Dang, they got so many birds up in here. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Jeez, Hank. Hank doesn't pull no punches. The part of coming is to either keep chasing the deviant or save Hank. That's if you don't lose the deviant. 
I know, I don't know how you guys want to discuss him with Connor Licks the theory. I mean, I would too. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. And they like this RA9. Jeez, that's a lot. It's the same sign Ortiz Keep chasing the deviant or save Hank from almost falling. I want a good relationship with Hank, so we're going to save Hank because I need a good relationship with him. Looks like mazes or something. This is like Grand Theft Auto. You take control of different playable characters. In a way. At least Grand Theft Auto 5. You switch between Franklin, Trevor, Michael. Okay, we gotta figure out what happened here. Okay, right here. Okay, we gotta reconstruct. Suspect was here recently, then they fell. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay, I think that's it. That's uh, all we have to look at while we can. We just gotta do another analysis. Yeah, I exited by accident. Okay. Yep, we're there. Metal hook. We have to reconstruct. So the way we could rewind. Suspect ran towards entrance. Suspect heard us enter. And they went in the attic. Suspect is still here. I don't blame you, Hank. I just like when the NPCs have random dialogue. It's kind of funny. You already checked the bath. Well, that hole is where our suspect could be. So let's check the hole. That's important. Oh, crap. Why do I always got to chase after the deviants? Jeez. Imagine the exercise Connor would hesitate to get. Okay. This is too fast for risky. That's better. Hey. Come on. Dude, come on, Connor. Got this. Move! I'm chasing something. This is why I lost him the last time. All I do is just keep running straight. Yeah, I had to run this way. Yeah, this is where I had to go that that I didn't realize last time. There we go. See, 
Because I saw him go up some stairs. That's what I missed the last time. Man, this is a real chase. Come on. Got this, Connor. Jeez. Yo, I'm on a mission right now, asshole. Who are these NPCs? Come on. You can do this, Connor. You got this. I'm chasing this guy. Okay, he went that way. Shoot, where is he in here? Okay. Shoot! Hank! Man, we gonna help Hank, man. Cause we need a good relationship. We need to have we need to have a good relationship with Hank. We need to. Come on. I watched Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye didn't help Hank. Connor. 